little Dutch door. It's made out of reclaimed wood and has a uh, antique mirror port hole. Little cool Dutch door. Oh, it's so late, but it is a very happy, merry winter solstice. Yes, and I just wanted to share this with everybody. It's been a long time coming. This one's made real. It's my, um, my design. I've been studying tiny houses for a while, and um, there's lots of things I'd like to share with you about this. And another little video that talks more about all the design choices and all the functionality and all the different choices of material and um, a little bit about the magical story of this creation and um, yeah, it's a little wood stove here. You can cook right on top. It's uh, made by a man that actually lives on my island who makes these for boats and this little unit has been rated Number one, many times in tiny house magazines for the maximum efficiency for heat pit, heat put out um, in small spaces. Yeah, got my little farmhouse sink and there's white poplar, white birch, white willow, white pine, white oak. And did I say white birch? Yeah. Wood inside, a special selection, and some antique mirror doors that offer further privacy for the bunks. And ah, the top bunk's really spacious, and I've got the starlit ceilings. And um, there's a table underneath the top bunk that pulls out, and a really nice bunk bottom bunk that has access to the outside which flips down and makes a little table for the outdoor uh, spa lounge that's going to have custom drapery and uh, big old window for service and offering weather protection for people who want to walk up on the side and um, the snack refrigerator. I love this refrigerator. I had to have it and uh, I paid for it too. <laughs> um, and the hutch has a little slider system that uh, holds all the wares back so um, they don't hit the glass when you're traveling. It's really cold out here. <laughs> um, it's my breath, I think. But yeah. Um, yeah, I had like random pieces of the white oak floor, milk painted white, all the all the materials in here that uh, I chose are all natural, like um, sheep's wool for insulation and the natural vinegar and steel wool uh, stain finish I made for the exterior cedar. I used um, a mix metals um, for the finishes from copper and iron and chrome and brass. I have a chandelier that goes into that top ceiling that was taken down for travel. Um, that is from Spain. It's antique. It's been refurbished. Um, and it's really special. The, um, the outside has a little chimney. You know, little element. I like exterior industrial elements. Um, the little outdoor shower. See the shower. Uh, that was a wall. So I have the custom drapery and these are the, the big storage units for propane and we have 12 volt and um, 120 and we have gonna have some solar as well. Um, this, is the this is the copper finishes on the boxes. They hammered them and Put some nice little details. Just extra storage for all the shower and the outdoor shower. And then this is where you can enter the bottom bunk from outside as well as make a table and set up all my stuff and wares and more extra storage for trunks and more things that I like to bring for that magical, 
addition. Always have to have enchantment. I'm always thinking of those things. Um, yeah, here it is. <laughs> Merry winter solstice, everybody. Thanks for sharing in the delight of dreams made true.